It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. Who knows what we're in store for here? All that and more coming up next. Here in the north, the Yaller horn is about to sound and send two teams to battle here at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thanks for joining us, everyone, with my partner, Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two guys who've been through the season several times over, have seen a lot at this point in their career, and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. One who is more skilled at leveraging that experience, and more likely is going to come away with the win. Sam Darnold's seen an awful lot in his career. Now he's hoping the fourth time is an actual charm. After being a first-round pick, it seems like eons ago for the New York Jets, the guy's experienced a ton of football. And I'll say this, he went into one of the great QB incubators there with Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco. And now we'll all get a chance to see how much he really did learn, how much he really did grow. He is still young in his career. And with the supporting cast in Minnesota, a pretty dynamic receiver on the outside. He's got some nice tools to work with. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. defense is on that sack board and sets up a pretty good chance here on third down. It's a little bit like blood in the water with sharks when it comes to taking sacks. You can feel it as a quarterback. Once that defense gets one, they're hungry for another. here as they come up on third and 11. Running back sets in motion. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first and apparently little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. Now we'll see Ryan Wright come on for the Vikings to punt this away on four. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. So here are the Cardinals now, headed out for their first drive. They'll be led out by the 6th year pro and former number one overall pick out of Oklahoma, Kyler Murray. A reconstructed knee limited Kyler Murray to just eight games a season ago. But in those eight games, Kate, we got a chance to see those feet once again come to life. Man, is he dynamic when he's 100%. And when he can complement that running ability with some accuracy and anticipation in the passing game, this guy is a nightmare for defensive coordinators to contain. The Cardinals with some nice field position to start off this drive. First and ten coming up. Only to start this drive with Connor. the chains after that pickup of 12. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know because I've been around this league a long time. Runs like that, they're really hard to come by. It takes everybody. And maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. Murray here on first down. Got his man. That's 
Jay Jones. And he's taken down at the 30. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's a Cardinals first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. First and 10 now from the 30. Connor here from the gun. He's able to drive that pile about a yard. Ivan Pace able to make the stop. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. It's Murray. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's on the move. He shows the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. You can put that sack right into the coverage sack category. You can see the quarterback. He's scanning him. Right? He's going through his progressions. One, two, three. Nobody's open. And then, bam! Sack lunch. And the Vikings add an extra defensive back for this third down. Oh, looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Even with the assist from that defense, still third down here. Here's Murray. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And now they have a first and goal. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They've set themselves up well for an opening drive touchdown here. Brock gets first and goal. He's got it! And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. So chances to get these final four yards at second and goal. We normally talk about complimentary football at some point every week. So how about the way they've begun this one, huh? Force the punts and then cash it in for six on their opening drive. Do we do it every game? It feels like it. Almost every game, yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. Because that's what the NFL is about. We all know the margins are so small in this league. And the team that typically plays the complimentary ball is typically the team that wins. Ryland able to connect on the point after. And the Cardinals will jump out to a 7-0 lead. to return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Minnesota all set to go for its second try. And they haven't gotten their legs under him on offense just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive.
Drive starts out with a first and ten. Starting the drive with a give to Jones. He's got to gain a six there. Buda Baker bringing that one to an end. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Jones wants more. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing now, off play action. He's on the move. He'll step up, and there he goes. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short gain to show for it after sliding down. Second and six coming up here. From the 43. Grabbed by Jordan Addison. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. the gun and give to Jones and he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry eight yards to go well, let's see how they approach this second down staying on the ground with Jones and once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. One yard on the run, so just three yards across those last two carries. It's third and seven. Darnold now to throw. Give up the middle to Jones. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. I know that may look like a whole lot of nothing burger on the stat sheet, but those are the kind of plays that inside run that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. Second down now, seven to go. <laughs> Running right, this is Jones. Kate, that's it. You know, we talk about timing in the passing game all the time, the precision. It's the same thing with the draw. If you have too long of a delay, you give a D-tackle like that a chance to get home and make a play. Second and goal coming up from the seven. Changing things up. They're going to throw now. Has it in close.
John Parker Romo out to try the point after. The point after splits the upright. And the Vikings tie this game 7 7. DJ Dallas, now to return it. He stopped on the return of the 27. Second drive of the game upcoming for this Arizona offense. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun hand off to Connor. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. That's Harrison Phillips there for the stop. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. the end of one both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early scoreboard showing sevens on each side more from u.s bank stadium after the break here inside their five-yard line. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Counterplay, Jones. 
And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. Second and six coming up here. Throwing here, Darnold. Throwing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game, and it's third down now. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Not a good spot to punt from. They really want to convert here on third. Now Darnold. And yeah, this is incomplete. Took the check down for granted. He's lucky that wasn't picked and taken the other way. Fourth down coming up. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs. Gets this one away from a tough spot, backed up inside the end zone. And hey, we see a lot of the football, but they will get nothing on that return. No return on that punt. And it'll be Cardinals football. The Cardinals in possession of it once again. And their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. The Cardinals with some nice field position to start off this drive. First and ten coming up. Handoff goes to Connor, running left. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Operating from the gun, here's Murray. Solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. That's good for seven yards. And that's a Cardinals first down. You know, Kate, it is so hard on these defenses to try to keep an eye and monitor on these running backs when they leave the backfield. Especially if he's waiting to chip a defender or delays in the start of his route. He's really an underrated part of their overall passing game. Doesn't get much beyond the line. A yard at most. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Running left, it's Connor. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Brings the offense up now for a first and ten. This set of down starts with an option right. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Had to be a missed assignment somewhere on that play, and the QB capitalizes with an excellent game. There's got to be an adjustment made, so even when the QB keeps it himself on the read option, that gain is minimized. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. This time it's a passing play. Has him on a quick hitter. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag rock. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Now keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Working inside the red zone. He's got Harrison. And he'll get this inside the ten to the nine. Second and three now. Put 
Throwing from the gun here. Quick slant complete. Touchdown, Arizona. Ryland now for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Cardinals break that tie and now lead by seven. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Vikings and Aaron Jones headed back out there on offense. It's a touchdown ball game right now, Brock. 14-7 as they start this possession. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. A give left side to Jones. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Here's Darnold. Connects with his back, Aaron Jones. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. You know, Kate, it is so nice to have a running back that can catch it, too. And a pass catcher that is so good in a select package of plays just like that through the air. That screen is devastating to a defense when you got a runner that can catch it like that. It's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. They'll have a new set of downs following that defensive penalty. Here's Darnold to throw. He'll get this to Jefferson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Give him 24 on that play. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. From the gun, Jones gets it. And this almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Brought to the ground by Kaiser White. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. To throw, here's Darnold. Heaves this one for the back of the end zone. So the turnover, Brock, is in turn turned over after pass interference on that play. From the red zone now.
They certainly wasted no time in making that turnover hurt even more. They looked to the end zone on the very first play, Brock, and they connected. You know, Kate, I love it. It was an ambush to begin the drive. They attacked that end zone against a defense who was out there on short notice and not ready for that sudden change they talk about. Romo on to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Vikings tie things up at 14. with the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. I'll have the Cardinals now on offense. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. They're out and set. First and ten. right side to Connor. And it's going to be about a three-yard pickup in the end. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Connor on the inside give. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there, and that leaves them with third down and five. From the gun, it's Murray. Escapes the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. To get home and hit an impact quarterback at this level, well, typically you got to do what this defense is doing, and that's keeping an offense off balance. Change up your looks, rotate your personnel, throw in some wrinkles, and once again, don't hit that quarterback. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Vikings send receiver Jordan Addison getting set for this next drive. And they should be well rested. They were only out there for one play last drive, and they found the end zone. So good field position to start with for the Vikings this drive. First and ten. Darnold. Short pass brought in. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Second and six coming up here. From the 41. Short throws drops. This one's incomplete. Looking for Justin Jefferson on that throw. So it'll be third down. Making it harder than it needs to be right there. Just get the catch first. Guarantee some yards. And then worry about escaping the defenders and getting upfield. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Shotgun snap. Looking to throw. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big game and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Yeah. 
Who set it down for him at the 38? First and 10, here's Jones. And it's a nice little jump here, six yards. Up to the ground by Kaiser White. They get six, and we've reached the two-minute warning. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 31. Darnold looking to throw. This throw is caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Second and six coming up here. Now they'll throw out of the gun. The throw is caught. And he's brought down after a short game. The Vikings call a timeout. It'll be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Oh, that is going to haunt him. A drop touchdown in the end zone. We'll see how good his mental toughness is, if he can move past it quickly and make an impact for them later. So on fourth down, out comes John Parker Romo for the Vikings field goal. This only a chip shot from the right hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attack. And they take it back to the lead. Dallas with a return. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Cardinals getting out there on offense one last time in this opening half. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. It's first and ten for their final drive of the half. We've got 23 seconds remaining. Out of the gun, here's Murray. McBride holds it in. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. The Cardinals deciding to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Murray here on first down. Makes the connection to James Conner. And he'll get this through the midfield strike and starts pushing into Vikings territory. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 47.
I know he started to play as a defender, but gosh, he looked good, didn't he? Running it back, he looked like a receiver navigated on that return. The way he saw the field, he baited obstacles and he chewed up yardage in the open space. Wouldn't make those offensive coaches and teammates proud. We've seen defensive players get touches on occasion, and I think he just gave himself maybe a look on that side of the ball down the road. Only time left for one more snap, Brock, so they're going to run out their field goal unit. This, 42 yards from the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. So we've reached halftime in Minneapolis with the Vikings out in front at the break. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit, but first... Time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Vikings got a solid first half outing by their veteran quarterback, Sam Darnold. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Here's Romo to handle the kickoff. Dallas with a return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Arizona has the football first to start the third, and here comes its offense. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. Starts out with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Has the connection to Jones. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Play brought to an end by Jonathan Grenard. Second down now, seven to go. shoot the pass to try and bring up third and short via a little more conservative ground call but that fire. You know the defense they'll look for keys up front. They fired off the line knowing the run was coming. And boy they busted before they could get back to the line. Murray on third down. This will be caught by Connor. This one's back to a halt and off the 36 yard line. As any quarterback will tell you over the course of their career, it's not easy to deliver an awkward throw if you're about to get smacked. The Cardinals out for the punt. Blake Gillikin will kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And he can't evade the coverage team for much. They stop him before he gets really anything on that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And it's going to be Vikings football. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Straight ahead they go with Jones. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Now Darnold. That's him on the quick hitter. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard game. Sean Murphy Bunty ranging over for that stop. Third and four coming up now. Darnold now to throw. 
Getting out to his left. He's running for it. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Man, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass. And then what happens? Well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, gashes the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Jones trying the left side. Down the sideline inside the 40. And they finally get to him at the 15. It's a massive 35-yard pickup. First down. Best run games in this league at balance. Can run it inside. And as they just showed right there, doing damage on the outside. Into the red zone after that big pickup. It's first and ten from the 15. Working inside the red zone. He brings it in. And he drives this forward to the six. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. It's Jones on the toss. Great rushing attacks down here that can score rushing touchdowns. It takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. Vikings electing not to kick it. The offense staying out there. They're going for two. He's throwing for it. Call to go for it, not rewarded as the pass falls incomplete. That is tremendous defense. First and foremost, you've got to defend against the run on this short of a field. To do that and adapt in time to force an incompletion, boy, that is a huge win for the defense. Dallas with a return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Cardinals offense making its way out. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life, there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Seven, and it'll be first down, Arizona. 
Move the chains. Gotta move them chains. Build momentum. Keep that defense on its heels. We'll set it down. Score him at the 38. First down carry for Connor. He swarms in the middle. This gets maybe a yard. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. The Vikings returning their offense and this running back to the field. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. here, Darnold. It was there, but it couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. He was looking for TJ Hawkinson. So that brings up second down. Throwing off the play fake here. jersey on that play and it's going to end up costing them they'll run here following the penalty and he's going to work his way up to the 19 give him five on that play still need three times that now on third and 15 Empty backfield now. The running back motions out left. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Minnesota lined up in punt formation. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And the coverage team is there as he fields it. So almost nothing on that return before he stopped. It's a 54-yard punt that time. And they're going to take over possession. with some nice field position to start off this drive. First and ten, coming up. They'll start this series with an option left. They're working a couple yards past the line. Shaft Griffin finishing that playoff. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. 
Just a little reminder right there that he's more than a passer. He'll call his number as a runner, too, especially if the defenses don't account for him. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Toss it this out to Connor. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple of yards on the run. It's third and six now. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss, it's a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. Throw on third down. Wilson's got it. And they make the tackle at the 38. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's a Cardinals first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. New set of downs for him at the 38. On the give, this is Connor. He spins right by him. And he crosses out of bounds, and now we're going to learn who the penalty flag is on. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Running it after the penalty. You know, Kate, that's the type of effort you expect to see rewarded with a first down at the very least. But this is the rare instance where they were so backed up that not even that type of carry can get them a new set of downs. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the gun, it's Murray. Short pass brought in. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Connor here from the gun. Chris Ford doesn't get beyond the line. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. Stuck at the line, and now it'll be second and ten. Situation. Many times that defense is playing pass on second and long. But this front, while well, they were prepared, and they pull the trigger and make a stop. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's Cardinals ball, and they could use a score. They come into the fourth trailing. Deficit, but it does create a sense of urgency here for this defense to get off the field. So 
we've got ourselves a nine-point game now as they'll kick this off. Powell now to return. His return makes it up to the 25. The home teams back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They in the running lanes, and they've been hazardous. Not quite the decorated collection of highlights from him that we're going to look at here. Those big plays, the explosive runs where he leads an offense, just haven't been there for him in this one. They're out and set, first and ten. Darnold looking to throw. Able to find Hopkinson. And he's short of the first after a mild game. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You train a little bit of speed, sure. But you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you gotta assume the ball's going his way. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They're going play action. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. Oh, and he can't follow through. He had the deep shot for a moment, Brock, but he bobbled it and drops it. Trying to find Justin Jefferson. And now they need to get four on third down. still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle when you call a screen like that instead of them just getting knocked backwards they get to be salesmen they get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there now i give up the middle to jones big play pushes them beyond Great stuff there, Brock. He busted that one open, got downhill, and got in for six. Huge run there. Yeah, and this is how you break a game open. He found that lane, and he was gone. What a tremendous effort in the blocking scheme there to just spring him enough so he could take it to the house. Now the Vikings will try once again for a two-point conversion. Here's Darnold to throw. And he has it inside the end zone. That's going to add two to their lead here late. No, that's the first time they tried it, but this side block, the two-point conversion, is successful. Just felt like they were waiting for the right opportunity to try it once again. Not only to make that for the first attempt, but establish a little confidence from this spot. And who knows? Maybe they have a two-pointer that plays a bigger role when this thing's all said and done. Dallas with a return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Arizona offense ready to get things going again. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. Drive starts out with a first and ten.
couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. This one's quickly to Jones. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Vikings defense cowering with a nickel of third down coming. Kyler looking to throw. Jones reels it in. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. New set of downs for him from the 46. First and ten, Murray finds the in route complete. And then cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Back to the air, Murray has him on the quick hitter. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And it'll be first down, Arizona. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have. And he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Murray here on first down. Connecting on the slant. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Good luck defending that short yard and slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 23. And this one hurts. Had a touchdown in his hands, but he couldn't hold on. Third down coming up. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps, but he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Shotgun handoff to Connor. And he's dropped to just short the marker, maybe a yard away. Chad Riley. It's on the right hash for this 39-yarder. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the gap closes to 14 points. If they wanted any kind of shot here, Kate, to come back at this game, that field goal had to go through and make it a two-score game. That's only the first of what would need to be several steps here in a hurry to have a chance to try to pull this out. Set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. Powell now to return. Good looking return here, and he's got room. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The home teams and this running back headed back out for a new series. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone. It hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really been the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. First down from the 31. They send him left out of the slot. 
Darnold now to throw. Finds a seam down the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That one goes for 25 yards. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but I think somebody's auditioning for some extra work as a receiver. If he can do that coming out of the backfield, imagine the damage he could do if they sent him out into one of those spots out wide. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. It's a game of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And he's got him, that's Addison. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Duke's at a one-stop. And he's able to push forward to the 25. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. Jones wants four. It's a game of 12 there. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. Staying on the ground with Jones. He breaks the tackle. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. First and goal now as they try to pad this lead. bigger visions when they called that play this is one of those spots Kate where when a defense is dialed in especially in the red zone it's very tough to surprise them with anything the nose of the football inside the one here's second and goal oh pullback's got it look at the power and he's in for the touchdown the Vikings so likely locked up the win right there goal line formation to give to the fullback powering forward Seth Lorenzo O'Neal, that top wrap and down that rock, it doesn't get more old school smash mouth than that. Yeah, I think you could go back to the early 1900s with no <laughs> face masks and still find that play, that formation, and yes, sometimes even that touchdown. Romo on to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Vikings stretch their lead to 21. Dallas with a return. He's got a lane up past the 30. They'll take over at the 39-yard line. Nice return there. The Cardinals and Kyler Murray set to take over. The 
Cardinals with some nice field position to start off this drive. First and ten coming up. Murray set up to throw. Dumped off to his running back. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. It's one thing as a running back to move those chains on the ground, but that's what you get paid for. You want to get paid a little bit more? Move those chains as a receiver as he just did. Working quickly here. On first and ten, it's Murray. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually what we see holding calls. quickly to Harrison and they're gonna bring him down just on the other side of midfield well they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage and that slant it goes for big yardage offense up to the line fast here we go second and nine to get an open look downfield. Can't let the coverage off the hook with the drop. So open space started running before he was able to watch the ball into his hands. Murray on third down. Underneath it goes. Catch made by the running back. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. It'd be kind of fun, Kate, to be able to measure these coordinators' blood pressure or temperature. Does the third down screen for negative yards? I promise you that coordinator's heated on the sidelines. Offense in the hurry up here. Desperation time here on fourth. Harrison's got it on the sideline. What a play on fourth down. They get the first after a gain of 27. Oh, so close to getting off the field. The fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. And now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. From the gun, it's Murray. He's on the move. He's keeping it. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a Cardinals first down. That's one of those occasions when you're sitting in the pocket and you're just looking for that escape valve. And then when you get it, you get space to run and you get a first down. That's a big bonus for the quarterback. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. Working inside the red zone. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended target. And now they face second down. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open to beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Murray throwing again on second and ten. The screen pass falls incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Pressure coming, it's Murray. See the pass, time up your hit, and charm that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. First and goal. 
Murray to throw. And he will score. Touchdown, Arizona. The Cardinals get it back to within two possessions. Trey McBride, the touchdown. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. You've got to be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. Ryland now for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Cardinals get it back to a 14-point game. Well, don't look up at the clock, everybody. That is certainly not their friend as they get set to try an onside kick. And this is covered by the Vikings' hands team. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. No question they wanted the ball back late, but you don't see many of these recovered by the kicking team in the NFL. You see even fewer recovered when they're actually expecting it like they certainly were right there. The home teams and Sam Darnold heading out for their next shot on offense. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. On the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Here's a give to Jones. And he'll knife his way through for a pick of a four. It's the two-minute warning here in Minneapolis. Vikings nearing a win here with a 14-point lead. Second and six coming up here. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. He puts it to the right sideline. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time. 155 to go. Offense set for a first and ten. They put a receiver in motion here left. First and ten, here's Jones. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Now we get another stoppage here, just 152 remaining. The defense burns a timeout. Offense to the line for second down. They send a man in motion. Second down carry for Jones. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. The Cardinals are going to use the last of their timeouts. That's all they had. So the offense free to start running the clock down now. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Darnold looking to throw. That's caught by first. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. The 
The Vikings into victory formation here as they take a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Lining up to take a knee on second down. With a win in hands, they'll take the knee and let this clock run out. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. Setting up for the kneel down on third. <laughs> 